All right, so I am doing a collective reading for you all. Take what applies to you and share with others. If it don't apply to you, don't try to force it. Don't try to make it fit, period. Everything ain't about you. I'm just saying, all right? All right, so let's see what's going on with the collective people. What y'all need to know, what's the deal, leave. It is what it is, straight to the point, no sugarcoating, any of that. All right, so somebody is at a place of not being happy, not being satisfied, not getting the things that they want and they desire as well, not getting their needs met, okay, but not finding balance in your life. Which, <sighs> not finding balance, not being happy because things are not going the way that you hope for, okay? Some of you may have been looking to for... um things to change in your life but it has not been changing okay look like things have not been fair at all so it got you at a place of doing a lot of worrying uh sad as well um even at a place of feeling depressed okay because you're not getting the things that you want because things are not working out for you okay i don't see you manifesting anything at all either focusing on priorities and bringing things to reality i don't see any of that happening at all especially when it comes down to this woman here um that is some of you may be a mother um some of you need to know exactly who you are and some of you need to start taking care of yourself okay but i do see yeah look like things was not working out with you okay like you didn't have anybody who will work with you or kind of like work together as a team okay just look like things had failed because you guys was not working together as a team look like you may have been doing everything by yourself and that left you at a place of not being happy not um being satisfied with the things that was going on in your life okay um now what i see here is um i do see cancer scorpio and pisces here as well okay i also see uh Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn as well, okay? Yes. Mm-mm-mm. Also, um, yeah, this is all y'all, okay? All of y'all. This is everybody, okay? Yeah trying to avoid conflict, trying to avoid confusion, not wanting to argue. So trying to avoid all of the problems, all of the drama, all right? Why? Because things was not fair. You wasn't happy with what was going on in this here situation in your life. Got you at a place of being depressed, okay? Because someone wasn't able to work together with you. They were not trying to compromise. They were not trying to compromise. Okay, they weren't trying to work together with you at all. So it left you at a place of feeling depressed. You weren't satisfied. You wasn't getting the things that you wanted. Okay, um, and it had you at a place of being depressed and emotional withdrawal. Okay, not being satisfied, not being happy. Okay, just felt like somebody was around you that was being selfish. Okay, Things were not working out for you as well, even when it came down to uh, change, okay? Things was not balanced. Things were not on point, okay? And it's that there was no happiness, okay? No happiness there. There was a lot of sadness, a lot of grief, and a lot of failure. Why? Because someone did not want to change, Okay, it got to a place where you should have been trying to walk away from a situation or either do some soul searching within yourself to see what it was that you really wanted or needed in your life. Okay, so you did not really soul search, you didn't look within yourself to see what it is that you really wanted and needed. All right. You did not walk away from this situation at all. You just sat in this whole spot, this whole situation sad. Not being fulfilled. 
not getting anything from this person at all. Wow. Wasn't trying to, wasn't trying to learn anything at all. Even when it came down to teaching, wasn't able to teach, wasn't able to learn, okay, anything. Anything. Okay. Refusing to learn. They didn't want to learn. They didn't want to. They were just refusing to change, refusing to learn. They didn't want to. They wanted to do what they wanted to do to you. Period. Okay. This person here was also at a place of just was a liar. Okay. Just came with a lot of issues okay this here person here was somebody that was really uh someone that had that always was had this didn't have a drive to do what it was that they needed to do okay this person here didn't even have the mind to be truthful to you about things at all okay did not want to give you any clarity didn't have any ambition they just did not have the drive they couldn't come up with no creative way to make some things change or work in your life as well and that person is a man okay this man here was not being honest to you and he was a man that could not be honest he couldn't tell you the truth at all but it came got to the point to where truth honesty would have been good for this person but they chose not to okay they wasn't being honest with you so therefore you was doing a lot of sadness a lot of sadness and worrying why this person here wasn't helping you at all so you was like really depressed but was not walking away or looking within yourself to see what it was that you needed to um learn but wasn't learning from the situation that you were going through there was a lot of things that just was not balanced at all okay couldn't come to a common ground all right but it's like listen start having compassion for yourself start listening to your intuition okay it is time for you to start making changes in your life all right even when it comes down to endings endings are just beginnings okay Look like there will be choices that you will be needing to make as well to take this new path, this new journey in your life so that you can be self-sufficient, so where you can be doing things for yourself and not be around depending on this person here in your situation, period. Because some of y'all may be in a relationship, complicated or something like that, or I don't know what it is we is, but whatever the situation is, you guys, it is time for you to start having financial independency, okay? It is time for you to start doing things for yourself and making sure that you have your own stuff, okay? You could have a lot of abundance, but you got to be wanting to have it yourself instead of depending on somebody else to supply your every need. We're talking about man, Okay, I don't see you being heartbroken about any situations at, at all, but I do see what you were heartbroken at one time. But it's like, listen, no more of that, no more heavy burdens, no more problems, no more carrying all that extra weight and that dead baggage, no more holding on to hurt and pain. Okay, it's like, let it go, let it go. Listen to your heart. Listen to your intuition. Okay? Make the right choices as well. Why? Because it's time for you to release the baggage. It's time for you to stop making changes in your life. Okay? And it's like you got to stay persistent. You also got to start setting up boundaries as well. Healthy boundaries. Don't allow people to mistreat you. You have to also say, listen, I am who I am. And you got to know who you are, build up your confidence, your self-esteem, okay, and set boundaries. Don't allow people to treat you any kind of way. They want to be in your life. They're not satisfying you. They're not giving you what you want. Your desires not being met by this person. They're not working with you. They're not helping you with anything, okay? So it's like things are not balanced in that situation, 
okay? But there's a lot of hurt and sorrow and heartbreak as well going on, a lot of tension as well. So it's like, listen, you're going to have to soul search. You're going to really have to drop that baggage, okay? You're going to have to really let things go, make a choice already, okay? Make a choice. Make a choice. You don't have to be worrying and sad. Listen to your intuition, all right? And not only that, but keep going. Take action. Do what it is that you need to do. It's like you got potential. Now grow. Get creative with it, okay? Because before you did not have any courage. You didn't have any strength. You were beat down emotionally because of all of the problems that was going on. You were beat down. It started it started tearing down your confidence, okay? And it had you at a place of not wanting to show compassion, not wanting to love one another, not wanting to love other people. So it had you looking at people in a totally different way. Mm -mm -mm. So you got to know your life. It's like now is the time for a turning point in your life. It's time for you to get your life together. It's time for you to start having your own money. It's time for you to start having your own things. It's time for you to start depending on you and God. Because this person here in this situation here, unable to help. Some of them can help, but they don't want to. So it's like you doing it all by yourself anyway. So tell me how that fit in. I'll wait. Tell me why you don't know to look within yourself and say, hey, this is not for me. You don't want to help me. You don't want to satisfy my needs. You don't want to learn anything about me. You don't want to learn from your mistakes. You don't want to move on. You don't want to find balance. You don't want to learn how to compromise. What, what, what do you want? What more do you want from me? You got to, like, what more do you want from me? You at a turning point in your life right now. Okay. Well, you should be moving forward and not backwards. It's time to make progress. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. And it's time for you to start doing it now. You got to get creative with it. You got to have that drive, that ambition, and you got to keep going. It ain't time to play. You you done been through the storm already. Now it's time for you to pick yourself up and, and keep it pushing. Keep it pushing. Communicate. Communication is the key. Communication is the key. If you got to come up with new ideas to help you on your life path, on your journey, do so. You have to start honoring yourself, honoring your word. But this person here did not honor you. They did not honor your word. They didn't honor your feelings. They did not care. It is time for you to start having peace. Peace in your heart. Peace in your mind. Peace in your spirit. It is time. Enough is enough. It's time for you to build your own foundation. It's time for you to have things it's time for you to have your own things, okay? Instead of depending on somebody else who's not going to help you. Mm. So make a decision. Make a decision. 
If you move forward, things will work out. You will find stability. You will be stable. You will have finances. Your finances will be stable. You will be okay. You will be okay. Don't drag your feet. Don't drag this process. And that's why you got to take action now. You got the potential and you got the ambition. Do it. What are you waiting on? Somebody to beat you upside the head with a stick? What's going on? There will be a lot of success. You will work. Everything will be a-okay. Everything will be okay. You have to work through your fears. Period, point blank. Work through your fears. And you got to know that you are good enough. No matter what somebody may think about you, you got to know that you are good enough. In their eyes, you're not good enough. But you better know that you are good enough. That's why you got to work on that confidence, that self-esteem, know who you are. Make a decision because this person here don't mean you know well. Okay, it is time for you to start having people in your life that is going to be there to help you, to encourage you, to motivate you. It's time for you to have those type of people in your life. Okay, if you do what is said here, you will win, you will be a success, you're gonna come out victorious. So let go of the fear because fear is not of the Lord. It's going to keep you. Fear is placed to keep you in this whole mindset of sadness, not being fulfilled, not being getting the things that you want. OK, not getting your needs met, not being told how beautiful you are, not being at a place where somebody say, here, let me let me do this for you. OK, you don't have to do it this time. I'm going to do this for you. OK, all of the variation, even if they was dealing with different people, whatever circumstances you are going through in your life. Listen, enough is enough. It is time for you to stop making the right decisions and the right moves for you. Get your money up. Start doing things for yourself so that you can have things for yourself. And live your life. It's time for you to be happy. Okay? This person here was not able to, like, make you happy. So now it's time for you to make yourself happy. It is time for you to create your own happiness. All right? Create your own happiness. Create your own happiness. That's what you do. Create your own happiness. And don't be afraid. And this is for all of you on here. Don't be afraid to create your own happiness. Okay? And be honest. Be honest to yourself and be honest to other people. Okay? And be looking for loyalty and honesty from other people as well. You got to start having a better character or judgment when it comes down to people, okay? Because everybody don't mean you any good, all right? They do have sheep and what? Wool clothing, okay? So you got to be careful who you let into your life, okay? Because they will tr surely try to suck the life out of you, okay? And have you sitting around here depressed and carrying on as well. So be honest. Be honest to yourself. Be true to yourself and be true to other people, Okay, be true. It's, it's enough. Enough is enough for lying to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. It is what it is. It is what it is. So stop lying to yourself. Okay, and start showing loyalty. Start being somebody that's loyal. If you're going to be a friend, be a loyal friend. Show loyalty. Okay, and be looking for the same thing from some, be looking for the same thing. And be looking for the same thing. Okay? Alright, you guys.